Uh, nice to meet you. In fact, I will not talk in particular for Daimola, but you're right, it's a nice tool to, to manage you. So I will be, I'm sorry, I will try to be fast. Huh? Uh, we need, uh, I will explain what the needs for simulation and modeling. So you already uh, explained that uh, previously. Uh, we'll explain also what uh, the DASO system position, what are the tools DASO system have, uh, has to for simulation and modeling. And uh, if I have time, I will present uh, one or two inst interesting uh, um, example, uh, use case, and about the future FFMI, you are, I think you already uh, talk about this, uh, but I will discuss it about, uh, in particular for DASO system tools. More and more uh, <coughs> complexity in the pro product we are delivering. Uh, pro product are, are smart. Er uh, everything is smart. F smart why? Because electronic. Thanks to electronic. Thanks to software. So that that means that we are creating. We are manufacturing uh, products which are more very complex, in involving many uh, many disciplines. Problem problem today is that uh, up to now the tools. Uh, we have for that are not really adapted. Uh, so tool vendors like the system has to provide these new new tools to facilitate day-to-day -day work, um, daily work of uh, of engineers. So uh, how to how to improve that? So um, you have to improve. In fact, uh, the main the main word is collaboration. Uh, collaboration in in terms of uh, of process, in terms of system architecture, in terms of project management in terms of uh, uh, requirement management, so many way, uh, many domain where we have to improve the collaboration. Today, uh, everybody is working on their, uh, isolated on their, on, on their application, so we need tools to, 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 to facilitate this uh, collaboration, a single platform, for instance, where everybody are sharing the same information, the same data, for instance, requirement, how everybody must share the same, uh, the same target, what we have to build, uh, Everybody must share the same documents, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, for instance, the system architecture, everybody must work on a single uh, system architecture today. Uh, today, uh, everybody is working isolated and uh, working on their own, uh, with their own tools on the s their own architecture. If we have a single architecture where everybody, on which everybody uh, uh, is working, uh, it would improve uh, much more the, the process the daily work. Improvement in terms uh, of collaboration, uh, but also uh, for collaboration during simulations. This is what we, we saw in the previous uh, presentation. We need to, uh, so this is a single, a simple uh, representation of the, of the V-cycle that, that everybody knows. So this, uh, this V-cycle is uh, up to now too, too, too linear, where we wait uh, at the end of, uh, of the process to have the physical data, physical product, I mean, sorry to, to real, realize some tests, to integrate everything, and it's too late. We have many recalls, for instance, in automotive, we have a lot of recall every six months. You, you can see uh, companies uh, recalling cars. So we need to improve collaboration in terms of, uh, of simulation. <laughs> Today, uh, around 60% of develop development time, there is uh, no real prototype. So it's quite difficult to imagine uh, what will be uh, the product in the future, the product you are, uh, you are manufacturing. It's quite difficult to imagine what it is because there is many, many disciplines involved, many parameters. For an engine, you have thousands of parameters. So quite difficult to imagine. Less than 10% of the engineers get evaluation experience in global vehicles, so uh, integration arrives very late in the process. It's too late. It's too late, so we need tools to facilitate uh, the simulation, uh, the modeling uh, of behavior and the simulation of behavior much earlier, much earlier in the process. So here, this is uh, the same V-cycle and the system engineering process. You see, we need tools to, to faci facilitate the collaboration between the different disciplines, between the powertrain, chassis, electric, electronics, software engineer, control engineer, etc., etc. We need also, uh, the we need uh, tools also to uh, facilitate this, uh, this model exchange, uh, between disciplines, uh, this co-simulation uh, possibilities, but at any any uh, any stage of, of the process, uh, so it must be flexible. And also, we need tools to facilitate the collaboration 
uh, taking into account the different level of maturity uh, of, the, of, the, of, the, of the different piece of the system you, have, uh, you want to validate. Some, some, part, uh, some piece of the, of the system will be uh, model, some will be software, some will be hardware. So we, you need a, a platform and an architecture uh, which is very flexible to, to support the, the different uh, scenario uh, of uh, co-simulation. So what? Uh, uh, so one slide to explain that everything is model today. Uh, model um, requirement are model. Uh, behavior is model. Process are model. Uh, everything, everything tests are model. So uh, you need to, to model. And why you have to, 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 to model this is to facilitate again the collaboration between between people. For instance, if uh, you, and more you will uh, decompose your model, and more everybody will have the same understanding. Uh, of, uh, of the model and what you have to, to, to design and, uh, and manufacture. The more you go in, in, into the granularity of your model, more you will decompose and better it is and less you will do a mistake. Also a model will, will, will be used to, uh, to, 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 to capture the, the, the behavior uh, for some, uh, from some type of model. Uh, in order to validate this model, because if you have a, a model which, uh, like SysML or UML, which is not uh, simulate, uh, you cannot simulate, uh, it's, it's not very useful in some case. Doing a model also is very important uh, for the to capture the knowledge. Very um, more is is very very important in the especially in the big big company uh, like Boeing or others. Uh, there are some testimony where they, they need tools to, to, to capture all the, not only the product model, but also the process models. So in Dasto, what tools do we have? We have several, uh, so we have different brands. We have Katia brands, Simulia and Delmia brands, which propose different tools for, for simulation. In Katia, in Katia brands, uh, so uh, you know all the uh, Katia for, for the 3D, uh, 3D, 3D aspect, um, the CAD aspect. But uh, we have uh, now in the, in the 3D experience platform, we have integrated uh, uh, Daimola. And uh, so you can describe into uh, the, the 3D experience platform the, the behavior uh, of, your, of your product in terms of control, in terms of uh, hydro, uh, hydro, hydrodynamic, et cetera, et cetera. So we have this, uh, this platform. And as I said at the beginning, it's not to collaborate in terms of simulation, but in terms of uh, processes uh, and in order to, to capture or to sh and share uh, all your requirements in order to manage the traceability all along the process between all the objects in order to, to, to create some system architecture uh, shared by all the stakeholders of the project uh, to, in order to, part to share information also with project manager in terms of schedule and etc etc so uh, uh, having a single platform it's quite uh, it's very very important uh, we have also Daimola. It's a, it's a model and um, a modeling and simulation tool uh, based on Modelica. So it was uh, the first one, uh, one of the first tools to, 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 to adopt the FMI standard. Uh, so it's a multidis multidiscipline uh, modeling tool. We have Control Build, specialized in model uh, control behavior, in particular for PLC, PLC control. We have Autosar Builder to make uh, the, the, the component, the, the model you have created, and your software compliant with the Autosar standard. So this is, these are the standalone application, and all these applications are on the go to be uh, in integrated in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the 3D experience pa platform, which support also the, the FMI standard. Simulia, Simulia is more for, uh, uh, ab uh, especially with Abacus for finite element analysis. Uh, you have different uh, tools and possibilities. There is some uh, capabilities for uh, co-simulation with hydraulics and control system as well. EyeSight, uh, EyeSight is a tool to, to, capture, to capture the simulation flow and make some, uh, some, uh, some optimization and the post-analysis uh, uh, work. Simulation lifecycle uh, management, SLM, is to manage your simulation. Uh, in the previous presentation, it's important to what do you, once you are simulated, uh, once we have simulated your model, uh, what to do with the result. So here it's a, it's a way to, uh, to it's a tools to, 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 to capture, to store the, all the, the simulation with the, with the model, with, uh, with the scenario, the parameters, and to store it into, uh, uh, and to share it uh, um, uh, in, in the company. Uh, so it's, uh, it's managed a life cycle management for your simulation. Dalmia, um, Dalmia is a, it's for manufacturing. So here uh, it's, 
It's to model in 3D all uh, the plants which will be used to create your, your product. And uh, you can simulate as well. Um, and uh, so it's based on digital mockup and the 3D. And you can, uh, you can model also uh, the, pro the manufacturing process in this tool. So many tools, complementary tools, which are all integrated in a single, a single platform. We need uh, to, 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 to simulate. So um, uh, to the, the thing, so it's nice to have a single platform with many tools uh, which support the different step uh, stage of, of the process. But this, uh, this, uh, this, uh, this platform must be open. Uh, customers are using uh, specialized, dedicated uh, tools from other uh, tools vendors, so uh, the platform must be open, and FEMI uh, will, ha will help also in uh, platform integration. So uh, a point uh, you already mentioned before, uh, the compa compatibility checking between the, the different uh, tools supporting the FMI standards is becoming uh, very, very important, and you can see with the new version of the FMI uh, st uh, standard website, uh, it has been done uh, with green, orange color, and so on where you have to, to show uh, that you are comp really compliant uh, with this standard. So Daimola is quite uh, famous for modeling and simulation based on, on Modelica. We already discussed it. So it, it supports FMI 1.0. Uh, there is some uh, native model export to Simulink, for instance, also. And see, this is a, a screenshot of the FMI, uh, FMI, website, um, FMI standard website. So here, all the tests, uh, all is green. So uh, many uh, cross-checking te uh, cross uh, cross uh, tests have been, uh, have been done. Have been done. Uh, so the 3D experience platform, big value. Of the, so Daimola has been integrated, big value. You can uh, run your simulation and take into account the 3D, your detailed design. Today, you can, with Modelica, you are able to pilot the detailed design uh, in 3D. So you can, uh, you can pilot with Modelica, you can pilot directly a kinematics of your, uh, of your physical design. So very, very, uh, lot, lot of value. You just have, uh, if you modify your, your, your model in 3D, uh, everything is synchronized and, uh, and Modelica, you don't have to put manually in your components uh, the, the inertia matrix, uh, the center of gravity, uh, all this stuff. Everything is synchronized with the 3D. So many, many, many values here. Alors, Autosar, uh, Autosar uh, so we, we can, uh, we support also FM, uh, FMU in uh, ASIM, this is a tool for uh, Autos, uh, which is inside Autosar Builder to make your, your model uh, compliant with the Autosar standard. Autosar standard is to make uh, your uh, software component, uh, embedded software component, independent from, uh, from, the, from the hardware. So you can move uh, one model from one controller to another one, and, uh, and you don't have to think about the interface. It's managed by, by Autosar standard. Control build uh, for PI, mm, it's, it's, uh, it supports also uh, FMI standard. It's more for PLC uh, control modeling. Uh, it supports FMI, but not in terms of uh, simulation, co-simulation. It supports the third, we didn't discuss it, but there is a FMI, PLM FMI uh, uh, specification. Uh, when you go to the website, you can see the third, the, the third specification. And uh, uh, thanks to SLM, we can uh, manage uh, this, uh, this standard in terms of the model exchange, uh, test uh, result, et cetera, uh, um, uh, management, etc. Et uh, one or two examples, so this we, are, we already discussed before what is uh, the different case of uh, FMI. One uh, interesting example is uh, here it's an excavator. We use two tools. Here is two DASO system tools. It's a, a 3D experience platform on the left and the con and control build uh, on the right. Control build has been, has been used to, to, to model the, the control part. And uh, the 3D experiment platform has been used to model uh, the plant part with uh, the 3D, the physical 3D, and uh, uh, the hydraulics, the engine uh, using Modelica in, uh, in, uh, in DBM. DBM is the name of the, of the tool in, uh, in the 3D experiment platform. This is like Daimola. So here uh, we used also Autosar Builder. You can see on the right here. Autosar Builder has been uh, used to, to manage the, the dashboard uh, control model. Uh, uh, there is a dedicated ECU to, to manage uh, the, the, the dashboard panel, and it has been developed in Autosar Builder. So this uh, FMU uh, has been imported in Control Build, uh, and this is a, a component uh, compliant with the Autosar standard. Other control part uh, has been uh, created with Control Build, and here the original thing is that it's a tool coupling. Uh, we use a, a, a case, and the two the two applications are running sim simultaneously. There is drivers to, to 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 communicate between the two tools. So uh, one driver has been uh, exported from 
uh, control build to the 3 Experiments platform and embedded in, uh, into a FMI, uh, a functional mockup unit. So it's using a uh, UDP and uh, network uh, protocol, protocol, so it's uh, 20, 20 milliseconds, something like this uh, uh, frequency. And uh, thanks to that, so you have two tools and you can pilot directly uh, uh, the 3D, taking into account uh, all the hydraulic and physics which is described with Modelica. Uh, we also used in, inside this model FMI to, com uh, to communicate between the, the hardware uh, command and the, the end control build. So different uh, usage of, of FMI. In, the, in that case, uh, it's interesting be also because you don't have to, if you want to do some modification uh, and tune uh, your, your, your control model here, uh, you can do that directly uh, in the in, in control build. So you don't need to export uh, again the, the model into uh, the 3D experience platform, so it's quite convenient sometimes in some scenarios. So here's just a screenshot. You have the hardware. Um, here's the, the 3D experience platform with the excavator in 3D. Inside you have the behavior, the physical behavior. And it's, you can see the, on the right uh, window, this is control build uh, for the control, uh, control model. And everything is running uh, simul simultaneously. Another example, one minute. Here um, it's a um, air conditioning system in an in a, in airplane. It's done by Dassault Aviation. Uh, so here on the right is the control model, uh, the air conditioning model. You have different uh, scenarios. Uh, for the cabin, uh, you can use Modelica, but it will be average and not uh, detailed uh, result. It's average temperature of the cabin. Or you can use, but it's fast calculation. Uh, as, as the opposite, you have high, uh, long calculation hours. Uh, it can take hours, and you get the temperature distribution of the cabin. Our objective here is to find an intermediate solution, because uh, the high fidelity solution is too long. So we use a, a surrogate, uh, surrogate model. So we simplified the FEM uh, uh, model, the CFD model, and using a particular method to uh, uh, to have the temperature for different scenarios uh, of external uh, temperature, uh, temperature and pressure of the, of the, of the aircraft. Uh, so we use a uh, different case. We use a modelic uh, Dimola you know, in one case, and another case we use a Simulink, and we imported the, the, the surrogate model into the Modelica, in, into the Modelica model. So he, with this, you can, you can run a simulation and uh, test many scenarios much faster. So it's uh, another possibility uh, to, uh, to, to, to use, uh, depends on uh, what you really want. Future uh, of FMI at the, at the system. So we talk about FMI 2.0. So there is a, a two, uh, there is a candidate release uh, which has been uh, released uh, two weeks ago. We, we can we can use it in a Daimola 2014 in the current release. Uh, but it will be LA uh, low av availability. That means it will be uh, use, uh, usable for some customer only uh, for test of this standard because not the, the, the final release of this standard. Uh, for the 3 d excellence platform, the same in, uh, in 2014X, it will be available, but in low avail uh, lower, uh, low availability. You can see that there is a several projects which are continuing, Modrio, Sys2, uh, Soft, Corac, uh, which are using the FMI standard, etc., and other standard, uh, Modelica, etc., etc. Modrio is very interesting. So also, it's an uh, European project. The system uh, design with the system operation, so once your product is used by the customer, so training, operation, uh, and uh, recycling of your product, etc. You need feedback to improve the, 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 your model and to, in, to feedback the designer in, in order to improve the model in terms of safety, uh, in performance, and etc. Et so we are, again, to continue uh, defining standard to, to make it happen. So it's continue. Just uh, one slide, we are organizing a customer event, and the system is organizing a customer event also uh, around Modelica and FMI. So it will be in the in the in Detroit uh, uh, region uh, as well. And here we will discuss different uh, FMI usage from BMW, Daimler, Dassault Aviation. Here is some demonstration. Uh, so John Batte from Adelon, uh, Michael Tiller from uh, Zogeni, uh, Andras Jengan from Qtronics, uh, Vivek uh, Jai Kamal from Itas, Robert Klein from Dassault System will participate to this uh, to this event. Uh, so if some customer are interested, you are you are you are free, uh, you are welcome. Sorry to to join.